Now the mail merge is quite a long task um, and it usually comes as one or two questions. You're always going to get a mail merge question because it's a complete section of its own. And I'm going to cover all of the mail merge in one go rather than doing individual in, uh, videos. So the first thing is to be able to open and prepare a document as a main document. And this is just like opening any other document. So I've been told that I've got a document called results letter. So I've got to open that first of all. Here it is, and it's open. And just like I say, it's just like any other Word document. But to make it into a mail merge, we go to the mailings tab. Now virtually everything you need is going to be on this tab. You don't need anything else. And it's worth noting that you've got the start, which is where you're going to start, and you've got the finish, surprisingly enough, is where you're going to finish and complete at the end. The only other two buttons you really need to be focusing on here are the selecting, which gets the list of people you're going to send it to, and the insert merge field, which is greyed out at the moment because we haven't got a data set to use. So the first thing to do is say that we want this to be a letter. So we open up the state mail merge and choose letters. Nothing appears to happen. Don't worry about that. The next thing is that we've got to use the data in source data, and that's where we go to our select recipients. And we use the existing list. We then navigate and find the file that we've been told to file, and we open that. This time, a little bit has happened. We've opened up these other tools, including this insert merge fields. And that's quite key, because this is the one we're going to use a lot. Now, the kind of thing we've got in here are the name of the person, the class, and the two scores that they've got for their PowerPoint and words. Now, it says to put in the appropriate places. I think in the exam, you'll be told more precisely where you've got to put them. So in the name here, we go to insert merge field and we say name, and it pops it in there. In here, class, and then in PowerPoint, and in Word, those appropriate merge fields. Now it's worth remembering, if you're asked to do like something like an address block, and you're asked to write to like Mr. John Smith, when you put the title, the first name, and the surname, you will have to type a space in between each one. Otherwise, it will just look wrong. Now I've inserted those, the last thing is to complete it, is to finish and merge. And of these three options, you're unlikely to be asked to print. Can you imagine a whole classroom of people in an exam starting printing documents? I don't think that's likely to happen. Similarly, you're not going to be asked to edit and send the email messages. So edit the individual documents. What this actually does, it makes a new document from the ones you've got. So I did have a sheet in the source data of John's results, Bill's results, and Jill's results. And that is the mail merge complete.